Are you feeling stuck? Life throwing lemons when you wanted lemonade? Imagine turning those challenges into awesome opportunities. Today's your lucky day. We're cracking the code on Reverse Psychology 101. No fancy tricks, just seven simple hacks to outsmart your own brain and turn roadblocks into stepping stones. Get ready to transform your challenges and unlock a world of possibilities. Buckle up, because it's time to turn those lemons into the sweetest lemonade you've ever tasted. Number one, flip the script. Ever heard the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? Well, that's like saying, when challenges come knocking, turn them into opportunities. Imagine challenges as sneaky little opportunities in disguise, like superheroes hiding in plain clothes. It's like a cool secret. Challenges are the superheroes waiting for you to discover their superpowers. So, here's the trick. It's all about changing the story, flipping the script. Instead of seeing challenges as big scary monsters, think of them as exciting adventures. You know, like turning a boring day into a thrilling quest. Challenges are like puzzle pieces waiting to create a masterpiece. You just need to see the bigger picture. Let's talk lemons again. When life hands you those sour lemons, don't just frown and walk away. Grab those lemons and turn them into the most fantastic lemonade ever tasted. Challenges are like those lemons, a bit sour at first, but with a little creativity and effort, you can make something sweet out of them. Trust me, this change in perspective is a game changer. It's like putting on superhero glasses that reveal the hidden powers of challenges. Suddenly, what seemed like a problem becomes an opportunity for growth and success. Life is a grand adventure, and challenges are the plot twists that make it exciting. So, don't be afraid to flip the script. Embrace the challenge, get creative, and turn it into an opportunity to shine. Just like making that amazing lemonade, turning challenges into opportunities is a skill. And once you master it, you'll be the superhero of your own story. So, my friend, when faced with lemons or challenges, remember, flip the script and watch the magic unfold. Number two, reward yourself for your achievements. Imagine you're on a thrilling adventure, and at the end of it, there's a shiny treasure chest waiting just for you. That's the essence of the reward yourself technique, setting a goal and dangling a tempting reward right in front of your eyes. It's like having your favorite dessert on a table just out of reach. You can see it, you can almost taste it, but there's a little work to be done before you indulge. First things first, set a goal for yourself. It could be anything, finishing a project, acing an exam, or even sticking to a new habit. Now, here comes the fun part, the reward. Picture something that truly excites you, something you've been longing for. Maybe a movie night, a shopping spree, or a day at the spa. Here's the catch, you've got to work for it. It's not about getting the reward effortlessly, it's about earning it. Break down your goal into smaller, manageable tasks. As you conquer each task, you're getting closer to unlocking that treasure chest of rewards. It's like leveling up in a video game. Every small achievement brings you closer to the ultimate prize. Why does this work? Well, our brains love rewards. They're like little high fives, telling us we're on the right track. When you associate your hard work with a delightful reward, it creates a positive cycle of motivation. You're not just working towards a goal, you're working towards an exciting payoff. So whether it's tackling a work project, acing those study sessions, or sticking to your fitness routine, remember to sprinkle a bit of fun into the mix. Reward yourself for the journey and watch how this positive reinforcement keeps you focused, motivated, and ready to conquer whatever goals you set for yourself. It's like turning everyday challenges into a thrilling quest with a sweet prize at the finish line. Number three, embrace failure. Failure is like a road trip to success. Picture it as a bumpy, winding road filled with unexpected turns and detours. 
Now, most people think failure is the end of the journey, but let me tell you, it's just a pit stop. Successful people, they've got a whole trail of these pit stops behind them. Think of failure as your personal coach, not a foe. It's not the final destination, it's a stepping stone. When you stumble, when things don't go as planned, that's your cue to stand tall and say, okay, what can I learn from this? It's a classroom where life teaches you valuable lessons. Embrace failure with open arms. Give it a big warm hug. Why? Because within those failures lie the keys to unlocking success. It's like finding a treasure map after getting lost. Those moments when you fall short, they're the very fuel you need to propel yourself forward. It's the energy, the motivation, the drive to keep going. Let me drop a truth bomb. There's no success story without a few chapters of failure. It's not a setback. It's a setup for a comeback. Take a look at the legends, the game changers, the ones you admire. They've all faced failures. But here's the secret. They didn't let those failures define them. Instead, they used them as stepping stones to climb higher. So here's the deal. Don't fear failure. Embrace it. It's not a sign to stop, it's a signal to evolve. Learn, adapt, and keep moving. Remember, the journey to success is not a smooth highway. It's a winding road with a few bumps along the way. Embrace those bumps, learn from them, and let them be the wind beneath your wings. After all, success is not about avoiding failure. It's about dancing with it and turning every misstep into a move towards greatness. Number four, embrace the imperfect. In the grand journey of life, aiming for perfection might sound like a noble goal, right? But let me tell you something, it can actually freeze you in your tracks. Picture this, you're on a quest for perfection and suddenly the fear of making mistakes creeps in. It's like trying to walk on a tightrope without wobbling. Scary, right? Now. Let's switch gears and talk about embracing the imperfect. Imagine a world where making mistakes isn't the end of the world, but a chance to learn and grow. See, striving for perfection is like aiming for an elusive target, and the fear of missing it can be paralyzing. It's like trying to hit a bullseye blindfolded, almost impossible. But here's the game changer, embracing the possibility of making mistakes. It's like realizing that those little missteps are not stumbling blocks. They're actually stepping stones to success. Imagine each mistake as a mini lesson guiding you towards a better version of yourself. Think about it. Every successful person you admire didn't get there without a few bumps in the road. They embraced the imperfect, learned from their mistakes and used them as fuel to propel themselves forward. It's like discovering a treasure map with X marking the spots where you stumbled. And guess what? That X is where the real gold lies. So ditch the perfection pursuit, my friend. Embrace the imperfect like a warm hug. Don't let the fear of making mistakes hold you back. Instead, let it push you forward. Remember, the journey to success is not a smooth, flawless road. It's a winding path with a few bumps and detours. And guess what? That's what makes it exciting. So go ahead, take risks, make mistakes, and turn those stumbling blocks into stepping stones on your way to success. The imperfect path is often the most beautiful one. Number five, stay adaptable. Life is a wild roller coaster, and you? Well, you're the cool, adaptable adventurer navigating every twist and turn. Staying adaptable means being like a superhero with the power to flex and bend, adjusting to whatever comes your way. Think of it as having a super suit that morphs to fit any situation. Now that's pretty cool, right? So why is being adaptable so crucial in this crazy journey called life? Well, it's like having a secret weapon against the unexpected. Life loves surprises. And being adaptable is your way of saying, bring it on. Imagine you've got this amazing plan. You're all set. And then bam, life throws a curveball. 
Now, instead of panicking or feeling defeated, you, the adaptable hero, take a deep breath and say, all right, let's dance, curveball. Adapting doesn't mean giving up on your goals or dreams. It's more like finding a different route to get there. It's about being open to change, like a flower, stretching towards the sun, embracing every ray of possibility. Picture this, you're on a hike and suddenly the path splits into two. One leads through a lush forest and the other goes up a rocky hill. Being adaptable is like having a compass that says, choose the path that suits you best right now. It's about being flexible, making choices that align with your current situation and goals. Now, here's the fun part. Staying adaptable not only helps you navigate challenges, but also lets you discover new, exciting paths you might never have considered. It's like finding hidden treasure in the unexplored corners of your journey. So, in this grand adventure of life, remember to be that superhero who can dance with the unexpected, roll with the punches, and turn every detour into an opportunity. Stay adaptable, and you'll not only survive, but thrive in the ever-changing landscape of life. After all, isn't it more exciting to be the hero of your own story, adapting and conquering with style? Cheers to being the adaptable superstar of your life's blockbuster movie. Number six, the break it down strategy. Ever found yourself face to face with a colossal task that feels like climbing Mount Everest? We've all been there, but here's the magic trick. Break it down. Imagine you're about to build a spaceship. Sounds overwhelming, right? Now, instead of stressing about the entire spaceship, think about the small steps. Design the blueprint, gather materials, build the engine, and so on. Each step becomes like a mini-mission, a piece of cake compared to the whole rocket. Suddenly, that mountainous project looks more like a conquerable hill. Breaking it down is like turning a giant puzzle into bite-sized pieces. It's not about devouring the entire puzzle at once. It's about putting one piece in its place at a time. It's like having a massive pizza. You don't swallow it whole. You savor each slice. Why does this work? Because your brain loves clarity. When you break things into smaller tasks, it's like giving your brain a clear roadmap. It says, okay, first we do this, then that, easy peasy. It's a bit like having a GPS for your mind. Let's say you need to write a 10 page essay. Instead of staring at the blank document in panic, break it down, brainstorm ideas, outline the structure, write one page at a time. Before you know it, you're not facing an essay you're facing a series of manageable paragraphs. The break it down strategy is your secret weapon against overwhelm. It's like turning a massive wave into a series of surfable ones. So, whether it's a school project, work assignment or personal goal, remember, break it down and conquer that hill one step at a time. Suddenly, you're not wrestling with a giant, you're dancing with a partner and winning. Number seven, reward system for bad habits. Breaking a bad habit can be a real challenge, right? Well, here's a quirky trick that might just do the trick. A reward system for not giving in to that pesky habit. Yep, you heard it right. Rewarding yourself for not doing it. Sounds a bit backward, but hey, sometimes the unexpected works wonders. So let's say you've got this habit that you're itching to kick to the curb. Instead of punishing yourself or focusing on the negativity, flip the script. Set up a reward system where you treat yourself when you successfully resist the urge. It's like giving yourself a little pat on the back for being the awesome person you are. Now, why does this work? Well, our brains are funny creatures. They love rewards. When you associate not doing that bad habit with something positive, it's like training your brain to say, hey, not doing this equals good things. It's like turning a negative into a positive. But here's the catch. Be careful with the rewards you choose. 
You don't want to end up sending mixed signals to your brain. If your bad habit is snacking, don't reward yourself with a giant chocolate cake, right? That's like defeating the purpose. Instead, go for something unrelated but enjoyable, like a short dance party, a good book, or maybe a stroll in the park. Remember, it's all about creating a positive association with not doing the bad habit. It's like tricking your brain into thinking that saying no is the coolest thing ever. So, next time you find yourself battling that bad habit, give this reward system a shot. You might just find yourself breaking free and celebrating those small victories on your way to a healthier and happier you. Cheers to positive vibes and breaking free from those pesky habits. Life throws curveballs, but what if you could catch them and turn them into home runs? Reverse psychology can be your secret weapon. We explored seven awesome hacks to trick yourself into tackling challenges, boosting confidence and achieving your goals. Remember, it's about using these tricks to empower yourself, not manipulate others. So, unleash your inner champion and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more life hacking content.